Okay, today we're talking about fan relays. So this is a ubiquitous fan relay, sometimes referred to as a switching relay or a power relay. You can see you have a coil here on terminals one and three, and terminals two and four are normally open, and terminals five and six are normally closed. It's important when ordering a new fan relay that you look at the sticker on the side of the old relay to get the proper specs. For example, you'll note this one. You can see the full load amps at 125 volts, 250 volts, 277 volts. You can see we have a 24 volt coil. Some fan relays may have a 120 volt coil. So be sure you're getting the proper specs. You'll find these relays on HVAC equipment, such as air handlers, furnaces, or fan coil units. So these fan relays are using low voltage, in this case, 24 volts, from let's say a thermostat or a controller to switch high voltage, in this case, 120 volts. So, Say you have a fan blower motor uh, that you want to switch from low speed to high speed. These can do that. So I'll show you how it works on this demonstration board today. Basically, we have our 120 volt power coming into the switch box here. We're providing 120 volts to this step down transformer, which will step down the 120 volts to 24 volts AC. We also have two additional 120 volt hot legs, line voltage, going to the terminals on the side of the fan relay. And then we have two hot wires coming out the other side of the fan relay going to each of these light bulbs. One light bulb represents our low fan speed. The other light bulb represents our high fan speed. When we energize a coil by flipping on the switch, it's going to allow the 24 volts from the step down transformer to flow to the coil on the fan relay, closing one set of switches or contacts on one switch and opening the contacts on the other set of switches. So let me plug in the power so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see with the power on, five and six are normally closed, low fan speed is on. However, when I apply 24 volts to our coil, they change position. You see our high fan speed is now on, which means terminals two and four are closed and five and six are open. If I remove the 24 volt power, two and four are now open, five and six are closed, and we're back to low fan speed. So I energize the coil, high fan speed, low fan speed is off, de-energize the coil, back to low fan speed, high fan speed is off. Now if I move the 120 volt power completely, the low fan speed will shut off as well. So five and six are normally closed, two and four are normally open. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.